What exactly does COVID-19 do to the lungs? And can we learn something about the virus from those who have died from it? A new study looking at autopsies of coronavirus victims was just published, and a Cleveland Clinic doctor who helped with that study spoke with our Will Ewick. I am a person who just day in and day out, I just look at lung slides. That's my expertise. Dr. Sanjay Mukhopadhyay is the director of pulmonary pathology at the Cleveland Clinic and the person a team of doctors in Oklahoma called upon when they began to look at autopsies of patients who died with COVID-19. They had gotten a chest X-ray after the death of the patient. And so that actually gives us also a very valuable thing to look at that we hadn't had before. The study, although small, looked at two different patients and did provide some valuable information. So we went several layers deeper than an ordinary doctor would do with, with the tools that are available to them. The first thing they found was damage to the lung walls, which explains why patients have trouble breathing and in some cases the need for a ventilator. There's a thing called diffuse alveolar damage, or DAD for short. You know, if you look at the an alveolus or the air sac of the lung, those little balloons in the lung where the gas exchange occurs, you need those walls to be super thin so that oxygen can go from the air into the wall where the blood vessels are. Now, in what happens in COVID is that those walls become thicker and thicker and thicker because of damage from the virus. Those thick walls prevent gas exchange from going on. They also found valuable information in what they didn't find. No evidence of inflammation of the heart muscle and didn't find mucus blocking the windpipe or airwaves, both at times thought to be symptoms or side effects of the coronavirus. All those things are explainable from the pathology. But it's all part of the bigger puzzle helping the world to understand a new virus, and hopefully helping the world to find out how to treat and ultimately vaccinate against it. I think the more and more we have access to these tissues, Will Uick, the more we'll be able to help research in the future. Three News.